welcome to our annual Parish Honor Band concert. This is the 30 something year. I'm not sure, because I haven't been here all 30 something years, but it's been a while. So as you are all aware, auditions last week, a day and a half to put together the performance, and these kids have done a great job. Without me going through all the stuff that's written in your program, let me just say that the person who's doing our honor band is a great educator. So please welcome the honor band under the direction of Mr. Trent. Normally, normally I would jump up here and we'd start playing something, but the first piece is March of the Sun-Dried Tomatoes, so I, I need to give a little explanation for it that I would uh, normally do later in the concert if we had it later. Uh, everybody knows what a sun-dried tomato is. Well, the composer of this piece, Julie Giroux, who's a classmate of mine at LSU, world-known composer, wrote this little march because she said she was cooking one day in her kitchen and the recipe called for sun-dried tomatoes. Now she's from Monroe originally and Mississippi roots, so she was like, like what is a sun-dried tomato? So she thought maybe they grew in the garden or something. She didn't really know what that was. So uh, she went looking for sun-dried tomatoes. So this is kind of her escapade of looking for sun-dried tomatoes. It kind of starts out in the morning, kind of lazily, kind of builds to a frantic end, and there's some March-like characteristics in it. You'll hear, you'll hear what's going on and some really weird, uh, funny sounds, and, and, and you'll, you'll see. I have to explain it to you first so it kind of makes sense to you. All right, March of the Sun-Dried Tomatoes. Thank you. 
right, next is Shadow Rituals by Malcolm, Michael Markowski. Uh, you'll see it's by far the most difficult piece rhythmically that we worked on. Lots of mixed meter, lots of tribal rhythms, lots of underlying things that keep going, lots of accents here and there. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
that, that was amazingly done by then. That was put together in about three hours of the time that we had. Uh, as you can tell, lots of stuff going on, lots of counting, lots of uh, nuances and intricacies that they, they uh, handled extremely well. Let's give them another. <laughs> Next is uh, probably the most famous arrangement or band arrangement of America the Beautiful by Carmen Dragon. Uh, anyone recognize that name? Carmen Dragon? Okay, not band people. Uh, uh, his, uh, his, his son is probably more famous to you than uh, him. His son was Daryl Dragon, who was the captain of Captain and Tennille, but his father was the composer and, and conductor. Wrote a lot for Hollywood, uh, sc uh, scores, movie scores, TV scores, so it has that Hollywood feel to it. So, hope you enjoy America the Beauty. asked me uh, if I wanted to come and do this and I said absolutely uh, and I had no idea what we would get especially since football season almost ended for all of these and some of it's some of us luckily is still going huh? yeah, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, they sound great for no, any time of the year, but especially after all the marching, marching things have gone on. Uh, one thing I do like to do, though, every once in a while is, uh, first of all, have them give you a hand, your parents, grandparents, whoever came and brought you to rehearsals all these years and supported you and us here in the audience. Let's give your parents and everyone <laughs> Okay, one more thing I did, I forgot to tell you we were going to do this. Everybody stand up for a second. Everybody stand up. Just to, just to show you, of course, I don't have to tell you, you know this already, but just to prove it again, maybe there's some visitors here or something that, that don't, under, don't, don't know what you have here and the, the great school system you have here and the great music programs you have here. Uh, if you have a 3.0 or above GPA, remain standing. If you have a 3.2 or above, remain standing. You get the point, and I've seen that done lots of places, and, and I don't think I've ever seen over half the band still standing at 3.6. Usually they're kind of all standing at 3.0, and then, you know, but that is amazing. And uh, again, tribute to the school system you have here, the music, you hear the music training that they've had from your directors. But all the directors, can y'all stand up and be recognized? Directors, stand up, please. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, I know you hear it at many honor band concerts, but it needs to be said again and again how, you know, what you have here and to get the support of your school board staffs and everything, the voices you, you know, they may not hear this or understand this, but they understand people knocking on their doors and telling them what they want. So whatever you do, keep it up. If you want more, make more noise. You might get it, you might not, but at least they'll hear you. So again, uh, the last song we're going to play is Blues for a Killed Cat. Kind of an interesting piece. It was written by someone that was at the Eastman School of Music, walking home one night, real late, uh, passed by the music school, uh, one of the buildings, and there was, of course, yes, a dead cat there. And he went back to the music building. It's in the program notes, they went back to the music building and wrote a piece for the killed cat. They looked like it had been lying there for a few days, he said. So, I get, but I guess it's Rochester, New York, so it, maybe it's the winter and it doesn't smell like it would down here. So, <laughs> so uh, got some soloists in here. Uh, I know normally you would clap after a soloist, but they go one right after the other, so maybe wait till the end and we'll, we'll announce them all and do that at the end of the piece. Uh, after we finish, because you'll be stepping over the next person starting on some of those. So, uh, uh, I think that's it, Blues for a Killed Cat. <laughs> Thank you. 
It is a lot of music to prepare, as you just heard, but these guys did such a great job. This is unusual that they actually, if you are willing, they have one more that's not on the program.
Thank you.